Okay, so we got uh, some northern pike here. Show you this. And then uh, this is a chained pickerel. Right here. You definitely can see the difference. This one's lighter green. All right, we're going to do some cleaning here. Let me. We'll do the pick chain. It doesn't really matter, they're about the same. <clears throat> so, the way I do it, it's been out for a while. I think we. Well, it started probably 15 years ago to start doing this. Been a while. Yeah. It's the five kind of chunk fillet method. So we're gonna cut from the top down and we're gonna follow this all the way back to this fin here. And then we're gonna cut back here, flip it over. So I'll do this first. So I just cut right from the top down, probably that far, okay? You'll feel the bones. And then you just follow, there's bones right here. You can feel them with your knife. Follow that all the way back. Don't cut through those bones. Right on top of them, you can feel them. All the way back to that fin right there. And then just cut it. Okay. So here's one piece. I'll put that here so you can kind of see this. And they're right, a little hard to tell, but they're right here. Where's my knife? These, you can feel them. Okay, both sides. We're going to end up cutting this whole chunk off. Okay, but before you do that, we're going to cut back here. So this is where he goes to the bathroom right here. Okay, you want to probably go about an inch back. Because if you don't, you'll get bones. So cut right straight down. You're gonna hit the you'll hit the bones, okay? And then just follow that all the way back. And then if you want, you can cut that right off. Lay that right off this the uh, skin. So you got this back piece, and I'll show you. And I'll put that right in water, and get that clean. Basically, again, this is where he goes to the bathroom, right here. And then you want to cut right here back. And then this is where I filleted it off from. Flip it over, do the same side, same thing on this side. About an inch down where he goes to the bathroom. Put it all the way back, you're hitting the bone. Okay, and then you can cut it right off the skin. Fillet it. And you have another piece. Okay. So again, get right down to the bone. I missed a little bit here. I'm going to try to get some. Oops. Right down to the bone. It's good right here, but I can get a little bit more right here. There you go. Boom. Okay. So you got the top, you got both back ends, okay? And now you're gonna keep it upright like this. And those bones I showed you earlier, you're gonna find them and you're gonna cut right along on the right side, on this side, and then over here on the left side, okay? All the way down, and you, you can feel them with your knife. And if you cut down far enough, you can see them. And you're cutting it right down, right on the side. So you see how I'm doing that? Right along the side here. Okay? And you can peel it right, right around those bones. They're Y bones, right? I believe. And you can cut. Ow, oh, it got me, the bones. Cut it right as far down as you can go. I could probably go down a little bit more. Let's see if I can. Yep, and I can peel that right off. I'll get that piece in a minute. Okay. And then you can cut right around the gills. 
straight down and start cutting this right out. Okay, you don't want to get too much of the belly meat because the belly meat kind of holds a lot of bacteria. But you basically got this side of the fish off of those bones. So you see that? And I got to do the other side now. So follow these bones right back. And you can see these bones right here. They're right there. The pike are slimy. So you really want to get the meat clean from the poultry, I guess, immediately. So I have water here that I put it into. And then I would immediately probably go and clean them before you put them in the fridge or freeze them. And then if you're going to freeze it, freeze it immediately, vacuum seal it. Or if you're going to eat it, eat it within what, three days, I would say. And I'll show you right now. <clears throat> so if you notice, you see this different color? From this meat to this, this is the belly meat. I try to avoid that. <clears throat> I don't know how true it is, but people have told me that it kind of contains a lot of, that's where all like the bacteria could go. Cut that right off. And now we have this. So we have basically five chunks that we cut off this pike. Now you can throw this. Usually what I do is put it in a bucket and then go back out fishing. I throw it in the lake. Then, you got this still, you can just fillet this. Make sure your knife is sharp. Okay, I sharpened it before. And fillet it right off the skin. So, <clears throat> I cut halfway down and then bend my knife 90 degrees or perpendicular and just peel it right off the skin. You can cut it and it peels pretty much. And you get this and you get that. Put that right in the water. Do this other side. Oops, make sure you get down far enough. There. Take those pieces, do this one. A little belly meat down there, we'll get rid of that. A little belly meat won't hurt. That in the water. Do this one. Okay. That was nice and clean. Okay, now this was the first piece you caught. What you want to do is you see this line in the middle? You want to cut that out. So what I usually do is <clears throat> I kind of peel it first or lay it off the skin because it's a little easier to cut, and then I cut that right out. Don't want to eat that, I don't know. That's like a, I'm not sure what it is, but I wouldn't want to eat it. It's like a vein or something. But I always cut it out. These guys are slippery. go so now you uh, know how to clean it that's the easiest method that I know how to do um, I'm gonna clean up here sharpen my knife clean my knife and continue on with these next ones cool